Welcome to the ID900 Time Controllers tutorial videos. In this video, we will show you how to use both the input counters and the coincidence counters and configure the counters in the ID900 graphical user interface. First of all, turn on the relevant input ports by selecting the channels which the signals are connected to. In this example, we are using input 2 and input 3. Then click on the Counters tab and select the counters you would like to visualize. Here, input 2 and input 3 are selected and the coincidence counts between the two. Then you need to configure the width of the coincidence and integration windows. Let's assume we want to accumulate counts during a 100 millisecond window for each cycle with one nanosecond coincidence window. Then set the graph to represent the values of the last 20 seconds and select the time duration over which you would like to run your measurements. For example, let's select one hour. Finally, press run to start the counter measurement. Note that during the measurement, you can still play the parameters and adjust those depending on the displayed results. By default, the graph axis scales are automatically adjusted thanks to the auto zoom function. It is possible to deactivate the auto zoom and then define the scale of the axis manually. To give you full flexibility, it is also possible to fix the unit of the counters to thousands, millions, or billions of counts, respectively kilo, mega, or giga counts. Enjoy the counters with your time controller and see you soon for another ID900 time controller tutorial.